Hello and welcome to episode 136 of The Pilgrimage on FM23. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode I've got two games for you. In the first match we'll be at home to Juventus in Syria. I'll then play the home match against Genoa off camera and bring you back for the away game against Inter. So uh, let's get straight into it and uh, see if we can uh, keep this unbeaten run that we're building going. And uh, the team for the Juventus game is coming up in just a moment. Okay, here is your team for uh, this one then. And it is Rossi in goal. Back four is Laurenti, Bolossian, Bonello and Manzini. It's uh, Lomfont at the base of midfield. Sonchev and Murillo ahead of him. Lidwenia on the left. Cassini on the right. Baldanzi up front. So let's submit the team. And go and give a team talk. Okay, my assistant manager wants us to uh, make full use of home advantage. I think that's probably fair. So we will point the finger and agree with him. And uh, let's go into the tunnel. Uh, in addition to Syria, Inter are also competing on other fronts, whereas your Lazio side aren't. Does that offer you an advantage? Possibly. It helps, but it would be nice to be competing for more. Um, we have to stick to the game plan. And um, the lads are confident we can do it. So let's get out there and prove that. And uh, as always, first 10 minutes will decide uh, what, if any, interventions are needed. It's Manzini with the throw in into Cassimi. Back to Manzini. Bonello to Sonchev. Mario plays it out to the left hand side for Laurenti, who plays it back to Bolossian. Laurenti again, Lomfont into Mario. It's forced backwards to Lomfont. Le Duenia plays it out, but it's uh, cleared. Manzini picks it up and it's cleared again. Manzini to Cassimi and Cassimi to Lomfont. Manzini, Bonello into Sonchev, plays it out but uh, it's headed away, Manzini's cross though, headed away again, Laurenti and Le Duenia with a brilliant finish, makes it Lazio 1, Juventus 0. And that is the perfect start, 6 minutes gone, we're 1-0 up and uh, that should be enough to take us to the top of the table and it is. So Baldanzi's free kick, Headed away, Joffre plays it back to his keeper and uh, they're playing about with it at the back. It's gone all the way back to uh, Yusufu in goal again. Sonchev's in, just needs to hit the target. He hasn't and it's cannoned off the bar and out for a goal kick. So we could really do with a second goal to rubber stamp our uh, position in this game. Garnacho. Down the left-hand side is robbed by uh, Manzini into Murillo. Plays it forward for Le Duenia, whose finish is in off the post to make it Lazio 2, Juventus 0. And uh, this game is, uh, is going about as well as it could have done, I think. But um, we are not top of the table as it stands. Uh, Roma are winning against the Swolo, so they will retain a two-point lead as it stands, but we will have a game in hand. So uh, we are not far away from where we need to be. Uh, Roma still leading 1-0, and uh, we'll keep an eye on that game as uh, things develop. Five minutes till half-time. So time to start thinking about any half-time substitutions. Um, I'm leaning towards not making any because of how well we're playing. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I've got to be happy with that. So we'll outstretch the arms and say we're happy. And send them out for the uh, second half of the game. And as always, we will drop and encourage at the start of the second half when we're winning and hopefully that will uh, brighten some faces up Dorrington into Tininho Dorrington 
to Zabani, Dorrington, back to uh, Yusufu, who's come a long way out. Uh, Lavia into Batali, uh, Bidner, but it's given away. Ludwenya to Laurenti into Lomfont, Mario to Kasimi. Forward for Baldanzi on the right-hand edge of the area. Cuts it back to Sonchev. Finds Laurenti, who finds the back of the net to make it Lazio 3, Juventus 0. And that is probably the best goal of the game. And uh, I think we can say we're pleased after that, so we'll praise them. And that's turned all the faces bright green, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, Roma are now 3-0 up. They've gone on a goal-scoring blitz in the second half. So we're not going to be top after this uh, episode. But as I say, we will have a game in hand. And uh, we're looking very, very good indeed for a place in the top four. Five minutes to go. Belossian to Sonchev. Laurenti to Belossian. Bonello into Lomfont. Belossian to Laurenti. Lomfont into Murillo, finds Cassimi who plays it to Baldanzi, into the back of the net from Baldanzi, and it is Lazio 4, Juventus 0. I wasn't expecting that, and uh, that should wrap up the win, and it does. There we go, Lazio 4, Juventus 0. I will uh, be back for the second match of the episode in just a moment. Okay, so having won the uh, game off camera against Genoa, it is now time for the second match of today's episode as we face a trip to Milan to play Inter. The team for this one is Rossi in goal, back four of Laurenti, Bolossian, Bonello and Manzini, Lomfort at the base of midfield, Sonchev and Baldanzi ahead of him, Lidwenia on the left, Kasimi on the right, Stamankovic up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, my assistant thinks we should show everyone their recent praise is justified. Um, I'm going to disagree with him this time. I am going to point the finger and say we're on a good run keep it going and let's get into the tunnel um, with Roma not in action until after you play is this the prime opportunity for you decide to perhaps take a step ahead um, might give us a boost um, why has it been so hard to find form away from home um, results haven't reflected performances um, do you think the first goal will be crucial? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, if we can get on the front foot nice and early, all the better. So let's get into the match. And as always, first 10 minutes, we'll just see how things play out. And if we need to, we will react accordingly. Um, we need to beat uh, Inter, but they are on the attack first. It's headed away, pumped back in. And Rossi uh, does make the uh, the claim. The highlight is continuing though. And he launches it straight down the middle. Stamenkovic is beaten to it, but Lomfont wins it back. Baldanzi to Sonchev. Lomfont, Kasimi to Lomfont. Out to Manzini. Bonello to Belossian. We've just slowed it down a touch. Sonchev into Ludwenia. Stamenkovic tries to go round his man. Can't do it, and we uh, end up with the ball back in our own half. Lomfont to Sonchev, plays it through. Kasimi runs onto it, and it's deflected into his own net, but Kasimi will get the goal because his shot was on target anyway. And it is Inter Milan nil, Lazio 1, and that is enough to take us back to the top of the league for the first time in quite a while. So uh, let's hope that we can stay there. 20 minutes gone and we've got to throw in Manzini into Cassimi. Lomfon gives the ball away. Victor with the uh, pumped ball forward to the right wing. It's crossed in and then headed away. Cassimi completes the clearance to Stamenkovic. 
who plays it back to Manzini, who holds the ball, finds Baldanzi, Bonello to Lonfont, into Sonchev, Ludwenia plays it through, Stamenkovic is in on goal, and calmly slots it beyond the keeper to make it into Milan nil. Lazio 2. And uh, we are looking very, very good for the three points in this game. And in the other game, it's Udinese 1, Napoli 1, which really doesn't have any bearing on the uh, top of the table anymore. Uh, from Silo to Cluna. Francillo back to Vitti. Francillo again. He's turned fi find Vitti again. Plays it all the way back to Ramirez in his goal. Gunnarsson plays it through to Hugue. Luna to Vitti. Vitti comes forward. Plays a diagonal ball out to the right hand side for Camper. It's played through. The shot is tipped wide by Rossi. So we'll have a corner to defend. And it is Hugue with the outswinging corner for Inter. And Rossi claims comfortably. So into the final 10 minutes of the first half. Let's see if we can uh, keep this uh, good start to the game going. Not really planning any changes at half time at the moment. Unless there is a fitness requirement to do so. Uh, Gunnarsson into Victor. So Inter are not done yet. They are still very capable of getting back into this game. It's uh, Victor again. Cuts inside. Beats his man. Gets the shot away. But it is wide. And uh, the highlight comes to an end. There's your halftime whistle. Inter Milan nil. Lazio 2 at the break. So let's go and give them some encouragement. Doing well. Can definitely find another gear. And let's just check. Um, I'm not going to make any changes at half time. We'll save them for as long as either we can keep going or the uh, lead remains intact. Faux to Gunnarsson to Hugue. It's played through and they're in behind. Belossian clears off the line though and we keep our 2-0 uh, lead. So very nearly a uh, disastrous start to the second half. But uh, we are still 2-0 ahead. 55 gone. And still no uh, signs of anybody badly fatiguing and needing to come off. So I'm going to leave it as long as I possibly can to make any changes. Laurenti wins that back. Liduenia. And it's cleared, but Stamenkovic has won it back. Baldanzi shot, and it's cleared away, and the corner prevented. But uh, we've got a free kick. Baldanzi over it, round the wall, hits the uh, goalkeeper, and comes out. Hugue clears. Laurenti wins it back, and the highlight comes to an end. And it's uh, Mukoko to Morales. Ludwenia briefly wins it back and forces them backwards. But uh, it is uh, still Inter on the attack. Ludwenia's won it back and then gives it away. And the shot comes in just wide. We get away with it again. And let's demand more. And let's make five changes now. So I'll pause it there. We'll make the five changes. Um, David Mario can come on uh, for Lonfont. Um, we'll take Christian Latanzio on for Manzini. Laurenti is absolutely shattered and on a yellow card. So we'll bring Gonzalez on in his place. Um, we will also take off Kasimi and bring on Oscar. 
and for our final change Lithuania for uh, Orlando Fives so all five changes confirm those and restart the match we've got eight minutes to go so should be able to just see this through now reasonably comfortably and take the uh, the three points it's Hugo with the free kick though into the area headed away five should complete it and does Stamenkovic gives chase Francillo is robbed by Stamenkovic and he's in on goal and fires it past the keeper into an empty net and it is Inter Milan nil, Lazio 3 and if it wasn't over before it is now and uh, that should be the final whistle and there it is Inter Milan nil, Lazio 3 I'll be back in a moment to show you the league table and tell you what's coming up on the next episode Okay, here is the uh, league table and confirmation that we are at uh, top of the table. Uh, 32 games played, 21 wins, 8 draws and just the 3 defeats all season. 71 points on the board, a point clear of Roma and 8 clear of 3rd place Inter who we beat on this episode. So let's have a look at when I'm going to bring you back. And as I said on the previous uh, episode, I'm going to take you all the way through to the end of the season. I'll show you the uh, home game against Bologna and the away game against Spezia to uh, conclude this season in Serie A. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.